Hey, I'm Gary from Piazza Planets, York Springs, Pennsylvania. Um, we're right outside the famous Gettysburg. If you're in there visiting or something, come see us. Um, today we're talking about, we're gonna show you how to hook up one of our added drip kits. Um, it's pretty much a little drip kit for any of our hydroponic recirculated deep water culture systems. Um, each plant will have a drip ring. And these things come in handy, like if when the fall ponics here, usually you have to fill the water level way up here when you first start because your plants have to be touching to get things going and then once the roots come out you can let the water level go down a bit um, with the drip kit you don't have to have the water level up as high you can have it down here and this is our fall pine system that we build so the water level's always got to make it over out the tent so it's going to have still have a good bit of water in it um, the drip kits can help the early growth get going um, drip systems in general i could talk for hours about um, it's people just want to automate their gardens I get that they're you know commercial places that have thousands of plants you need to have drip systems it's totally necessary but I've also been in commercial places where they'll have a whole room full of plants and then there'll be one dead one in the middle of the table and that's because drip systems would get clogged up they're known for it and you know if you want to have an automated garden and you're not gonna be there for a few days and one of them things gets clogged up it could kill a plant, so it's uh, almost impossible not to have a clog. Um, some of these products back here, like Clearline by Current Culture or Drip Clean by House and Garden, those can help keep the minerals from building up on your manifolds, and that'll help keep you from getting those clogs. But if you do nothing at all, chances are you're going to have a clog within a few months of this grow that you're doing. Um, the add drip kit comes in one plant, two plant, four plant, six plant, eight plant, and then from there you can email us and we'll try to get you something else going if you need more than that. Pretty easy to set up. Um, we don't pre-cut the tubing for you. It's a 160 gallon per hour pump. It's actually 172 gallons per hour, and this is an adjustable pump, so you can slow it down a little bit. It comes with some all the fittings you need to hook everything up, and then the drip rings themselves. Um, I've dealt with a lot of drip rings over the years. These are these are called black holes drippers. Um, this company I don't believe is around anymore, but we bought everything. We have lots of these, so. If you're trying to hunt these down, you may not find them from anywhere else. Um, I've had round circular ones that you've probably seen online if you've been looking this stuff up. Um, they have like tiny little holes in the bottom and they just clog up even faster. And there's drip stakes, which tend to like only water one small area. This thing here will water all the way around. It's also got the cool cutout so you can get it off the stem. Cause like, after, like I said, after like a month, you should probably turn this thing off and let the system do its thing because these will get clogged up. Pretty much when the water hits the air coming out of these holes, the minerals from your nutrients will build up and then just clog it off. And I've had this happen to me. This is why I don't talk about drip systems too much, but I know it's a, it's a thing. People are busy and you don't wanna to have to be watering your garden all the time. This can work on dirt plants as well. And we're probably gonna do another video for that. So each of these plants, this is a six plant fall ponic. This also works on the um, six inch baskets for our stir ponic systems. So pretty much all our recirculating deep water culture that we sell, you can use these on, which is, might help you in the beginning to get your plants going. So they're gonna be, each one of these is gonna get one of these. Um, I try not to set them up real high like this because the water, once you see this thing running, you'll see the water's gonna get splashy and it's gonna end up splashing all over the place. So I get them down in the rocks. Always fill your rocks all the way up in these systems. Helps keep the light out, helps keep the bugs away. You know, the bugs hit that dry rock on top. Drip system might be adding a little moisture to the top of these rocks. And during the grow, you'll see around the drip rings some white. Some people will call me and be like, there's mold on my rocks. And it's not mold, it's just mineral salts building up. Not a big deal. If you want to use a really high power pump, you're just going to have even more splashing. So I matched this one up pretty good. 
This will do up to your eight plants, no problem. It's got a bunch of little attachments here. I would stay away from this thing. This is a, a little valve allow air to be mixed in with the water, but it's just gonna slow everything down. This is the fitting you're gonna use. This one is actually kind of cool. It does half inch and it'll do three, three quarter inch, depending on how far down you slide on here. So, make sure you get your little washer out here. So yeah, there you have it. And then here's a little speed control. Fast, slow. Actually it doesn't control the speed, it just chokes off the water a little bit. These are electromagnetic driven pumps, so you can choke off the water all you want. It's not going to hurt the pump. All right, so the pump is ready. We've got our drippers. They're all in the plants right now. This kit comes with, uh, looks like about 15 foot of tubing. Depending on which kit you get, you'll get more tubing or less tubing. And we'll also have the option for you to add tubing in case you're doing something at home where you spaced everything out even farther. Um, these fittings, you have a bunch of T fittings. So each one of these is going to get a T on it. And that way it'll be able to flow to the next plant. And when I build these for people in the store, I usually try to do loops. That way when it pressurizes, the whole loop pressurizes at once, blows out all the air out of these, and then you get more of an evenness. When you get into like soil irrigation, it's totally different. Um, you're going to want to use things so that your plants are evenly watered. So, but that's a whole another topic. Like I said, I could talk for hours about drip systems. Today, we're just going to show you how to hook this up. So, yeah, each one's going to get one of these. I'm going to have to cut a little piece of tubing to connect that together. You can use heavy duty scissors. These are little fiskers. I'm going to use my cutters because I have them and they're nice. So I'm just going to do a quick eyeball here. You can get out the old tape measure and do it the right way. <laughs> Hot water on these will help them get on a lot easier. I'm just going to muscle these on for this video. So yeah, that's what it's going to be like. Um, I put mine, all these towards the inside of the system. That way, if I need to take this off while the plants are on it, I can kind of fold them in, pull them in like this, and then pull it out the side. If you do the outside, you would have to either cut the hose or loop it around the whole garden. So, so anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and cut five more of these and put them on. The end ones here, I'm going to put these in a different direction. They're going to be kind of going like this. That way I can shoot over to the next one. So, makes it a little bit easier. So, it looks a little goofy, but when I set it down over here, it's going to line right up with that one. Um, I did make some changes, too, in the past year with a lot of stuff. Um, like these parts. This is HydroFlow brand on this half inch. And... They were just constructed a lot better. They don't have what's called the flash, which is a little ridges coming out. Um, so they seem to not leak as bad as, I mean, none of them have been real bad, but you know what I'm saying. 
if I can avoid a problem with a simple fix, I'm going to do it. All right, so I'm going to get everything centered in here and pretty much going to measure between the two. So we got 20 and 3 quarter inch on this particular one right here. So yeah, there's the first of them. You put uh, put this stuff in hot water too. The tubing's gonna straighten out for you too a lot. So pretty much now I'm just gonna go around and connect the rest of the stuff together and we're probably gonna be fast forwarding through all that. So enjoy. Change your mind, I went and threw this in some hot water just so I get looking all nice and flat for you. All I did was just fill up a bucket of water and let them soak for a few minutes. Help flatten this thing out. I don't want to do all that for the video, but. At the end of the line here literally and you're gonna notice you have some elbows in here and we're pretty much gonna elbow these over to a center point and then the center point's gonna go out the 10 hole and to the reservoir so I'm gonna have to do a couple more of these little short guys here and we include a couple extra pieces here just in case you want to do something custom on your end So these little elbows and with this system you know the elbows and everything it does slow things down a little bit but it doesn't matter on this you don't need to have the water shooting out like a jet As to where you put your T on here, it doesn't really matter. This whole thing's gonna get pressurized. So if you wanna move it down towards the whole end, the 10 hole end on this particular system, go right ahead. It's not gonna matter. Um, adding drips to recircling deep water culture is way easier than dealing with soil because you don't have to worry about things being even or not even. So it's just running all day long. You can put it on timer too if you want. That won't hurt anything. You just want your roots not to get dried out, so your upper roots. That easy. <clears throat> so now the tent hole. This is our fall pine system, so it's pretty cool. It's got a reservoir outside of the system here. And then pretty much this pump here sends the water to each site 
and it water falls in the buckets goes out this hump here which goes out to the reservoir so she continuously does this all day long so with the drift system it's gonna be the same kind of deal you're gonna be pumping out of here dripping down through and it's gonna end up back there So, so that's your main run line running out of here. I'm just going to seal up my little sleeve here again. All right, so now we're at the reservoir. Um, and there's uh, your extra little pieces here again. This one I included just in case you want to come out of your reservoir and not kink your hose. So we're going to kind of do that here. So I'm going to go towards the front of the reservoir, that way I can get to it easier. And I do call this a reservoir even though this entire system is one big reservoir and that's how recirculating deep water culture is pretty much the whole thing's a reservoir so I have people call and they want like a bigger one of these and I'm like it doesn't really matter I might even get fancy here and do one of these that would be kind of cool why not we have an extra piece so So there we have it. Coming out of the reservoir, no kinks. You can go notch out a little piece of your lid if you want. Pretty much this outside reservoir doesn't get the direct light from the light. So even if I have it just sitting here like this for a month, it'll be fine. All right, so the pump's gonna sit on the bottom. Got that thing on there, good. And we're gonna go ahead and hook the hose up to it. And while I got it out, I'm gonna put the speed control all the way on high just to see what's gonna happen here. And that can always be slowed down later does have little suction cups on here so all right and our last cut is right here all right this is ready to go probably run your quarter way out the same hole as you got this if you end up notching out your lid and this is the extra tubing that we have for this six plant one. So if you have them spaced out farther, you should be good to go. Or you can always just add an extra 10 feet when you go to order. And let's go ahead and plug this thing in. I'm probably gonna end up turning it down a little bit. So, and there it is. Do have another extra elbow too. So pretty much it's gonna drip through all day long. It's a good size pump for this. You don't need to have it shooting out. It's gonna actually make a huge mess if you do, and I've, I've done it myself, so. And this will help get your upper roots wet. I hope you enjoyed watching this. Pretty easy to set up. Like I said, we got a one plant, a two plant, four, six, and eight. And of course, you can order from our website. If you go to shop.pahydroponics.com, you'll be able to find these. It's called Add a Drip Kit. And if you do like our videos, we have about, you know, a lot of videos out there now. And I really appreciate y'all for watching. It's uh, definitely changed the way I do things. And it's been just, I'm happy to have you as fans. <laughs> so please subscribe. And I'm Gary from Beyond
If you have any questions, uh, you can email us at info at pahydroponics.com. That's the best way to get a hold of us. We try to check our email every day, and we try to answer everything we can through our email. That keeps us from being tied up on the phone all day. And other than that, take care.